Sophos. <laughs> Thank you, Chris, for that kind introduction. It's a true honor to be here, and I would like to dedicate my talk today to helping each of you achieve the great dreams and goals that you have in your crosshairs for this coming year. Now, you saw in that video what defines success at the Ironman. One day, one race, and certainly only one champion. If I could swim 2.4 miles in the open ocean off the coast of Kona in about 50 minutes, get out of the water, bike 112 miles along the hot, windy, west side of the big island of Hawaii, averaging 25 miles an hour the entire way, which is the speed limit on every street and residence here in the US, right? <laughs> Get off my bike at about 12.30 in the afternoon, the hottest point of the day on the hottest of all the Hawaiian islands, run a marathon averaging six minutes and 10 seconds a mile every single mile of that marathon, I would be the Ironman champ. <laughs> you, you guys ready to sign up? <laughs> Anything less than that and somebody else is going to walk away with the title. So through my stories today, I would like to share with you three very simple but powerful tools that indeed enabled me to win that amazing race six times. And before I go any further, I'd like to just highlight what those are so you have them in your mind as I tell my stories. The first is to clarify the work your goals are asking you to do to accomplish the success that you are after. Not the work that's comfortable for you, but the work that your goals are really asking you to do to achieve those great dreams. It wasn't until I asked myself, what is the training that the Ironman wants me to do to be the champion that I actually went from training a lot, being very busy, to being very effective and winning that race. This is, this is what will help you with that run part of the pyramid that Tony just talked to you about a little bit earlier. That's the part that will help you build the base of your work. For me, that's a lot of swimming, cycling, and running, and it has to be done in the right way. Changing from being very busy to being very effective is a key to success, isn't it? Absolutely. The second key is to be willing to adjust our strategies based on what's happening out there in the real world. I mean, let's face it, the real world is a very dynamic and ever-changing environment, and we can come up with great starting strategies, but we have to see what happens when we implement that in that unpredictable environment, see if we really are effective. Have any of you ever had a bad day? Couple of you, yeah. I had some really bad races, but those races were, were where I learned the valuable lessons that enabled me to adjust my strategy to become an Ironman champion. So there is no real bad day if we learn something from it, make adjustments that carry us further into the future in a more powerful, clear way. The third and final key is to have an absolute commitment to completion. Now, what does that mean? A commitment to completion says, I will do the very mundane, ordinary work over and over again that leads to extraordinary results. As an example, in the sport of triathlon, I had to be good at swimming, cycling, and running. I would start my training in January. January 1st, I'd throw myself in a swimming pool, swim up one side of the pool, 25 yards, do a flip turn, come back down the other side of the lane. In about 35 seconds, I have seen the entire swim course that I'm going to be doing about 50,000 more times throughout the year. That could be looked at as very boring or very empowering. And it was empowering because I knew that each time I did one of those laps, I was laying the groundwork for a great race at the Ironman that was going to take place every October. A commitment to completion says, I will not be, I will not join the, the herds that are saying, you know, I don't have enough resources or as an athlete I'm too old, I can't do it anymore. No, a commitment to completion says, I will lead the charge and find the way to take us all to the great victories that we're searching for. A commitment to completion says, I will step back for a moment and ask myself, why does this journey have meaning to me? Why am I showing up at the office every day? Why am I going to go to the start line at the Ironman? Why does that have meaning to me deep inside? It's a moment of reflection to ask yourself that question and have an answer, because that vision is what will fortify you with the strength to make it past all the challenges that can come along the way to the big dreams. And I guarantee you, I will not sugarcoat it, the big dreams, the big goals, they do come with challenge. But that is so empowering when we have that vision that takes us past the impossible moments until we realize those great dreams for ourselves. <laughs> 